So we'll start with nurturing figures. Can you think of someone or something that's nurturing for you? Yeah, I think the first thing that comes to mind would be my own mom. Your own mom? Yeah. Okay. So bring up an image of her in her nurturing aspect, where you can really feel her nurturing quality. I don't have a particular instance in mind, but I, is a, a quality. Yeah, you could just see her face. That, yeah. or something that would evoke it. Okay. okay, so just go inside and mm -hmm. just fully positive, just feeling that quality. And let me know when you have a sense of that. Okay. Okay. That was, it was, there's a little more tied to it than I, mm -hmm. it was a little more complicated than I thought. That's the trouble with mothers. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of connect and do all kinds of yeah. memory networks. Okay, so think of someone who's okay. not your mother, who has a nurturing quality, who may not link it. Okay, uh, um, a friend of mine. Yeah. I, can, I can remember her name. Just give her a name so I can. Um, let's call her... Um, I'm Barbara. Okay. So close your eyes and go inside and bring up an image of Barbara that fully evokes a feeling of nurturing, of being nurtured and cared for. Okay. Got it? Okay, so we're going to tap a little bit. longer? So um, feel complete? No, that was good. That was good? Yeah. It stayed within just the nurturing mm -hmm. feeling? Mm -hmm. Right. Is there anyone else you can imagine that would have a nurturing quality for you? But it's my, I consider my spiritual, my meditative practice to have a nurturing quality to it, but I don't necessarily have a person tied to it. Sure. Yeah. yeah, so we want to create a sense of, would it be when you're sitting with a group of people, with just that feeling of being with a group, would that be okay? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, so just imagine sitting with a group where you're, where you're feeling, feeling a quality of emotion. Okay. Of care. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that would be my friend. My friend Bill actually leads um, groups like this, and so then I can think of him and being with him in a group. Okay, that's great. That's yeah. great. Okay. So, have a sense of Bill, the image of Bill in the group, mm -hmm. and let me know when you have a feeling of that nurturing quality. that my heart got warmer um, on this time than the others and that it was it was something it was a feeling that I like uh, that I can that I access in my own um, practice and it's a feeling I like hanging out at I mean, it was nice and we went a little bit longer also in the staff mm -hmm. than we did in the other times. Okay. 
Yeah. Did the going longer, was that good? Or mm -hmm. oh, yeah. you like that? Okay. Yeah, I do. All right. So this is, yeah, the, the, each one of these has a slightly different flavor to it, doesn't it? These, these different figures. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so can you think of a protector figure? Someone who you'll imagine that you have that kind of protective aspect? I have two in mind. One of them is a time when I felt very strong okay. and, and in, in response to an event. And then the other one I would say would be Archangel Michael. Okay. So, two of those. Okay, so imagine Archangel Michael. Uh huh. Okay. And feel, you know, imagine him and feel that protective aspect. Let me know when you have a sense of it. Got it? chakras, but I do notice that it's more activity up in terms of my, um, in, in this part of my body. Mm -hmm. I feel it's, it's more of a, an energy of clarity and focus and strength. Great, great. Okay, and then activate that time when you felt that strength yourself. Okay. Okay. Your, your adult protective self. Good. I, I felt at this time more in my in my legs. Part of it was that and I think in that in that event there were three teenagers who were heckling me, mm -hmm. and, it, and I became aware all of a sudden that that it was potentially dangerous. It was at night, and I was I was in an isolated uh, area, and I didn't know. And something inside me said they were they feed off your fear. Uh -huh. And so rather than retreating or getting scared, I, did, I actually did the opposite. And I walked right up to them and I said, hi. You know, it's like, <laughs> I don't remember exactly what happened, but it was, a very, and it, was, it was a very active response that then were like, because <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't go up trying to be confrontive. It was just open and, and without responding to that energy. And it just it felt really good. I could feel my when we are tapping it in, I could feel that in my legs. Great. Especially. Great. Great. Okay, so now can you think of um, anyone or anything that could, could be a good inner wisdom or a wise figure for you? Mm, that's a hard one. It feels like I've been foolish a lot of my life. <laughs> um, uh, anyone from history or a spiritual figure or anyone that has wisdom for you? Oh, I would say Plato. Plato? Uh -huh. You want to have Plato on your, your, one yeah. of your allies, you want to your team, your team? Yeah. All right. So imagine Plato. Okay. So feel his wise quality. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not as clear as some of the other ones. Okay. Um, Did anyone else come to mind you'd like to have on your team? <laughs> the one that comes up is, I don't know if it's just me being a smart ass, but the one that comes up is the Delphi 
the Oracle of Delphi. Um, I don't know if that was, but uh, um, somebody else that's really wise, I one of my... Well, the Oracle, if that works for you. <laughs> I mean, if you feel like, okay, I'm uh, stuck, what do I do? Can you imagine going inside and imagining the, the Oracle? And listening for what the Oracle might say. Yeah, I think that works because it's for me. It's it's really connected to um, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I think it will work. Okay, so imagine the oracle at Delphi, and and just connect to it in whatever way you can, and feel that wise quality. Yeah. So the part that I connect to most is there's an, there's an arch apparently that went over the the entrance, and on the arch, it said on the front of it, Maiden Aga. No, actually, that was the other side. It said, Know Thee Sautong, which is Know Thyself. And then on the other side of it, it said, Maiden Aga, or Nothing Over Much, Nothing in, All Things in Moderation. Uh -huh. so that's the part that I identify as sort of like the wisdom space. Great. Okay. okay. Evoke that for yourself as strongly as you can. you have a good sense of it, let me know. Mm I like that energy better than um, Plato. It's something about having an archway that there's this passage into um, with wisdom, this idea of something of being able to see what's not clear. Mm -hmm. And there's that, that moment before things are opened up where you're in sort of your narrow place and then trying to figure out what it is that that life is telling you or how you're supposed to respond to things. That's terrific. Yeah. Can you think of anyone else or anything else you'd like on your team of allies? I'd say my friend Todd. Okay. Um, he He's really good at Kung Fu. And he is a big supporter uh, of me and my life and just what I'm doing. And as uh, somebody that I benefit from when I bounce ideas off him. So okay. He, he embodies a lot of those different elements. Great. Okay, so imagine Todd <coughs> and feel those qualities in him. Let me know when you have a good sense of that. It was a little more diffuse. Mm -hmm. um, it was, I, I probably because when I think of him, I also think about all the stuff that I've been talking to him about. So there's a lot right. that gets connected. Um, yeah. Okay, can you imagine all of these different figures mm -hmm. we've tapped in as a team, support team for you? Does it make sense to do that? Could that? Assemble them uh, together. <laughs> I have a pretty good imagination. I can probably put them all together. Okay. Yeah. See how that feels to assemble okay. all these resources together. Get a sense of it? This is 
These are, this is your team of allies and your team of inner helpers. Okay? The image that I got was Todd and Barbara, and then myself and the this little arch, and and me facing Archangel Michael, and that was it was sort of the, the feeling of having them supporting me from behind, but then also that kind of a, a strong uh, how do you say it? it's a confrontive energy, but it's not but more in the sense of a, a, like a challenging, I don't know how to explain, challenging, supportive kind of way. Right, right, great. So, you know, how this would work in treatment mm -hmm. is that if we were doing trauma work, you now have all the support to go forward in doing EMDR or whatever other trauma work you're going to, mm -hmm. you know, you might want to do. Mm -hmm. You can use these resources if you, in daily life, hit a place where you need them. So for instance, if you are, if you get triggered by something and you want to calm yourself down, which of these resources would be helpful for you to calm yourself down? Mm -hmm. So if, if it's um, imagining bringing Tom in or imagining a time when you were really strong mm -hmm. or it could be imagining Michael, the Archangel, what, what, which one of these would help you in this time when you are triggered or anxious? You then imagine the resource and then tap yourself. So it's like activated apply resource. If you're having trouble sleeping, you can, you can evoke the res a resource. You could evoke um, the image of playing the piano, you know, and work that memory, and then tap yourself as you're remembering that. Or you can. If you need more of a sense of protection, you can bring in your protectors or your nurturers. You can bring all your whole team in before going to sleep at night and attack yourself. So any of these, it's like this is your toolkit that can be used in any kind of situation. It, they can be helpful uh, before going to a medic for a medical appointment, for example. If you have anxiety about a medical appointment, you, you can tap yourself in the waiting room. You know, find subtle ways to tap yourself. You can just tap yourself in the car bringing in your resources is a way to calm yourself down. If you're flying, a lot of people use it in flying. You just close your eyes, go inside, connect with your safer, peaceful place and your resources and tap yourself subtly as you're on the airplane if you're feeling anxiety. So a lot of different ways you can immediately use this to get some control over some of the things that are kind of high.